Welcome to my whirlwind tour of Asana. So if you've had a look at Asana and some of the videos on their website, one of the things that you'll notice that is that the default and probably major view that you'll have using Asana is like a to-do list that you can share collaboratively with your teammates. Um, it does have other things like Kanban view, which is kind of like sticky notes on a whiteboard. Um, and it also has timeline view for those people who want to have something a little bit more like a Gantt chart showing up there as well. So what I'm going to do is quickly run you through so that you would know what it's like using Asana at a very high level. So we've got the home section here, which is going to have things like your favorite um, areas, projects that you've been working on. You also have a my task section so if you want to come in here and just add in a whole lot of tasks that you need to complete and they're not related to any particular projects um, then you can do it from here you've also got inbox which will give you notifications of when people mention you within asana things that you need to do so it's showing up within inbox and then there's also portfolios for people on the business plan so that they can see and give status updates on all the different projects that they're working on. Now from a highest level we have teams so think think of that sometimes like marketing or sales like almost like you know an entire floor in a building just think of it in that way where um, the only people who you want to have access to perhaps that particular team is the people within that team so it's just a way of splitting it out um, so I click on marketing here and this is going to have like a little description about the marketing team and the different projects that they're working on and the members of that particular team. So highest level is the teams and then within those teams you have projects. So say within marketing we've got the content marketing project that we're working on. I can click into there. Now this is the project view. So we've gone from the team view down into the project view and the two main areas that you can add into this kind of list view section is you can add a task or you can add a section. Now sections as you can see here aren't things that you can check off uh, but you can actually move things from say one section up into another section um, and so you can add sections and add tasks. Really simple to add tasks. New task to do. So you can do this, click a button to um, be able to check that off, move this up, move those around. You can even change the view at the moment, we're on incomplete tasks, we can see all the completed tasks um, and then we can just see all tasks as well. So really simple to be able to add in tasks, put them into sections. Now when I click on one of these tasks, over on this right hand side, um, what it's opened up is, the, I guess, the more details around that particular task. So I've got a new task. I'm going to assign it to myself. I'm going to have a due date of the 30th, but you can also um, set it to repeat, which is really handy. So if you've got something that you're doing each week, perhaps it's preparing for a meeting, then you can set that re to repeat. And so once you mark that off, it'll just re-pop up the next week with the next week's due date ready to go. Um, we've got that, we've got a description of that particular task. People can also write comments on here. So if you think of this a little bit like um, say a website where you've got the static information like the about us and contact pages. So this is the information that will always be kind of pinned to the top of this area. This is more the kind of blog section or the comment section um, where you can write comments, your teammates can make write comments all down below and you can have this really long thread of everyone's discussion around this particular task. You can do things like adding in attachments. Um, you can create subtasks within here. You can copy it, you can like it. There's a few other options here um, where you can have follow-up tasks, dependencies, all of those can be added in from this particular screen here. Uh, now we're in list view. So this shows our tasks and when um, this one's got a due date, let's put a due date on this. We'll say that's due the day after. Okay, and then we're just gonna pop over into timeline. Now timeline on premium plans will actually show those tasks 
across the screen in this kind of format. So that gives you an idea that if you're going to upgrade to premium, you'll be able to see those tasks and really plan out everyone's work according to their schedules. We also have a calendar view, so you can see those two tasks showing up here as well. And we have a forms section, which you can look at if you've got the business plan, um, is where you can have forms where you collect information into this space as well. Um, you also have progress, where you can put down your status of on this particular project, what's happening uh, with it as well. We have conversations where you can just have a kind of chat around this content marketing. So it's not actually related to a particular item on the list, but you can just start conversations, have a bit of a chat in that area. And finally, within projects, we also have all the attachments to, any, to tasks and conversations. Um, all those um, files will show up here as well. So Asana does a fantastic job of being able to use task templates um, now, technically, they're called project templates. So say for content marketing, I want to start a content marketing project where it has 20 items on the list. I would create that from a template. I would start that project. I would run through all those action items, close out that project, and then start a new project with a new template to get started. Some people don't really like that in terms of the reusable kind of checklist functionality but it does work for a lot of teams so using that templating is going to be really handy so i hope you have found this useful for this whirlwind tour of asana um, if you've got any questions let me know